In the previous video, I discussed about beer production and most probably you may think that whenever we talk about beverages like beer production, wine production, then we may realize or we may think that the production process of these beverages is not that easy. But this is not true guys. And guys, trust me, the production process of wine is very simple if we compare it with the production process of beer. You don't want to believe me? Alright, alright. Watch this video till the end and after watching this video, whatever I am saying right now, you will say like that only. So hello guys, my name is Trans. I am a third year student of BTEC Food Technology and on this YouTube channel, you will get all information regarding food technology and its application. So if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon for the future updates. Now let's get started. So in the production of wine, fruit is required and as we know wine is a beverage so fruit juice is required and the fruit which is used in the production of wine is grapes. And it is quite obvious that how we will extract the juice obviously by pressing or crushing by using hydraulic press. But before this process it is very important to separate the fruit which is grapes and the stem which is attached to this grapes and this process is called stemming and now after crushing juice along with the skin is obtained now after the separation of the juice and the skin fresh juice is obtained and the juice is transferred to the fermentation tank where we have to add saccharomyces cerevisiae which is a yeast and it will break down the sugar the carbohydrate which is present in this juice into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The total fermentation process takes about 2 weeks to a month or even more. After the process of fermentation, clarification is done and in the process of clarification, filtration is done. And by this process, the unwanted materials like dead yeast is removed which is not required in the final product. After filtration, preservatives like sulfur dioxide is also added to decrease the growth of spoilage bacteria and yeast in some cases. See it may be possible that the addition of sulfur dioxide takes place in the initial stage. See it may be possible that the process may vary for different kind of wines but the overall production process will remain same. Now at last aging and bottling is done see aging is important to develop more and more flavor for aging most probably wine is transferred to oak barrels which if you are not knowing look like this or maybe in some cases stainless steel tanks is used or bottles may also be used so this is the production process of wine if you are confused then watch this video once again and if you learn something from this video at least 10 percent then share this video to your friends and family. Till then, see you soon in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.